In this SkyCat tutorial, we'll be explaining the user interface. There are four sections in SkyCat. The first one is the ribbon menu located at the top of the screen. This is where you will find all the command icons. These command icons are grouped under various tabs. If you click on the Tutorials Support tab, you will have access to all the SkyCat tutorials and the forum. Sometimes tutorials are also available from the tabs where they are relevant. For example, if I click on the Drawing tab, there is a shortcut to the tutorial on Drawing Tools. The ribbon menu is contextual, meaning it only displays actions that are relevant to the selected object. For instance, when you select a project, only actions relevant to the project are displayed, such as Close, Save and Save As. This is very important, since it's at the center of how to use SkyCAD, so we'll explain some more about that. In SkyCAD, you should always select the object first, then the action you want to apply to that object. For example, if we want to delete these terminals, first select the terminals, then click Delete. If you select a sheet, then click Delete, the sheet will be deleted. If you select the project, then click Save, the project is saved. But if you select a symbol, and then click Save, only the symbol will be saved. Keep in mind, Clicking on the background of an open sheet will select the sheet, thus show commands that are relevant to the sheet. As you can see, it's important to know which object you currently have selected, so that you know which object an action will affect. If you're ever unsure about which object you currently have selected, check the Selected Items section at the bottom of the screen. As you can see, each button has a short description. If you hover your mouse over a button, you'll see a more detailed description. The second section is the tree view, located on the left. This is where you will find all open projects. In this case, we can see the IEEE example project is open and its sheets are listed. For every tree view item, a small arrow button allows you to explore its properties and edit them if you wish. Currently, the sheets of the project are listed, but other aspects of the project can be listed instead by selecting the project, going to the Show tab, and selecting what you want to see. For example, when we select Components, all the components in the project are listed. Other examples include locations and cables. If you hold the Control key, you can select multiple different elements to list in the tree view such as locations and cables. If you select something in the tree view which is represented on the sheet you have open, that item will become highlighted, such as this cable. The last thing to mention about the tree view is that it can be hidden and unhidden by clicking on the arrow to the left of it. The next section of the user interface is called the main view tab section. This area is where you will be working in most of the time to work on your schematics, panel layouts, and list views. To zoom in and out, scroll the mouse wheel. To pan, click and hold either the right mouse button or the mouse wheel, then move the mouse. To return to full view, click the full zoom button, or double click your mouse wheel. At the top of the main view tab area are the tabs you currently have open. If you have so many tabs open that you can't see all of them, a small arrow will show on the right. You can either place your mouse over the tabs area and scroll the mouse wheel to see the others, or place the mouse over the arrow button to scroll automatically. Also, there is a small menu button you can click to see all the tabs that are currently open. Selecting one of the tabs from the menu will open the tab. If you don't see a sheet you're looking for, you'll need to show the list of sheets in the tree view and open it from there. It's possible to view the properties of almost anything in SkyCAD by right-clicking on the item and selecting Explore. If the window is too small to display all the command icons in the ribbon, an arrow will indicate there are more. To see them, simply move the mouse over the arrow or scroll the mouse wheel on the ribbon. Another section of the user interface is the symbol library. As with the tree view, the library can be hidden by clicking the arrow to the right of it. All symbols are categorized within folders. 
hovering over a symbol will display a description of what it is. Some folders may have many symbols in them, so you may need to scroll to see the other symbols. Similarly, you can scroll up and down in the symbol library itself. By default, the symbols are shown in a grid fashion. If you prefer, you can click on a symbol library folder, go to the Home tab, and select Display Thumbnails as List to have their descriptions shown. If some of the descriptions are cut off, you can click and drag the border of the symbol library to increase the width. The folders themselves can be rearranged by clicking and dragging. You can also have them listed in alphabetical order by clicking the small button with the large A at the top of the library. The last section we want to show you is the status bar at the very bottom of the screen. Idle function lets you know which function or action you currently have selected. Selected item tells you which object you have selected. Zoom factor changes when you zoom in and out. And X and Y displays the X and Y coordinates of the mouse cursor. If you wish to use dark mode, simply expand the properties of SkyCAD and check the dark mode box.